Hey there, it's Richie D here talking to you from within the Samsung Gear VR virtual environment. Uh, today I'm going to take you through uh, what it's like to be inside this environment thanks to uh, Chromecast screen mirroring, uh, which is actually streaming my Note 4 right now. So let's check out what we've got. So this is the home screen. You can see here, here are some apps. Now these, some of them have been downloaded, some of them haven't. Uh, we've got the Samsung Gear uh, VR Samsung area here and the Oculus Store here. So before we do that, I just wanted to take you through some of the settings because uh, you may want to turn off some of the notifications, for example. So if you press the back button, you'll come up with this. Okay, so we've got some status bars there. We've got the Oculus Home, which we'll go back to. We'll go, we'll go through the password camera again, but effectively that just shows you what you can see in front of you using the camera of the Note 4. Uh, reorient, uh, which means if you want to turn around a bit, it will then reorient and face it to the center of where you are. Uh, do not disturb, let's turn that on. I like it. All right, and we can actually adjust the brightness as well. We can bring that up a bit or bring it down, whatever you want to do, or also have the comfort mode on or off. But let's go back to the Oculus Home. Okay, so here we are. So as I said, this is the area here, which is replicated, I guess, to a certain extent by the Note 4 as well. Um, but let's go into the store and let's start there and download something. All right, so all I've got to do is swipe forward on the control pad. And you can see here we get all the different content that's currently available. Nothing to, pop, nothing to buy, uh, but it's all a demo at the moment. So here's Strangers with Patrick Watson. It's a short little virtual uh, video of a performance. You can see here there's a summary. Again, all of this stuff is available on the Note 4 app itself. And some screenshots as well. But again, in a VR environment, screenshots don't give you very much. So let's go straight into installing it. It, uh, somewhat like Google Play, tells you it's what it's gonna do, which is write to the storage area, use your camera, and also read from the storage area. We'll accept that. You can see here it starts to download. It'll come up with a status bar until we get to the end. Uh, the ratings and the comfort, I guess, will be uh, start to become more relevant as it aggregates a large amount of users. It's installing. That was pretty quick. We're on Wi-Fi, so that's pretty quick. And we should be able to start it right here. As you can see, here, installation complete. Thank you. And we'll start it. So that was very easy, wasn't it? Very intuitive, easy to start, uh, easy to get right into someone else's house pretty much. So here we are, bang. Uh, Patrick's going to play us a song, and we're going to look around his house. So you've got all his instruments everywhere. If you look around, so this all looks pretty static, but as soon as you move around here, there's Patrick on his piano. All right, very, very cool. All right, so let's get out of there. So that was really just to show you how to launch um, an app and install one straight from the Oculus Store. Uh, we'll go back, yes, back to the home. There we go. Now from here, uh, we don't actually have to press the back button each time. We can go straight to the library or the store. I'm going to take you to the library because I'll take you to the... There we go. Oops, we are here. I'm going to take you to the a Samsung app, which is the uh, VR gallery because I want to show you something that's been asked of me a couple of times. The big question was, how do I watch movies in bed if it looks... Uh, at your vertical position, how can you possibly lie down and enjoy a movie? Well, it is possible uh, using the VR gallery. So if we open this uh, demo video here, we'll just open this here. What you'll see happen is I will be able to move my head not only to the left and right, but I'll also be able to move it up and down. And if I move it far enough, it will ask me to reorient based on my new position. So here we can see if we go up and up. Yep, there we go. Tap and hold to reorient screen. And I'm actually looking at the ceiling right now. Come back down again. Ask me to tap and hold. There we go. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you can watch movies on this or you can actually use uh, the Oculus Cinema as well. So let's go there now as well. Let's get out of there. Move out back to... Yeah, I'm just pressing the back button a couple of times here. Exit, yes, to Oculus Home. Okay, let's find that uh, Oculus Cinema. We we'll just, here we go, beautiful. Found that. Let that load up. 
and I showed this this last time. I know it was a bit, uh, a bit dodgy last time because I was using a screen recorder, but let me take you around now. You can see here, this is the environment you're in before you actually watch any movies. Uh, first, I want to show you the multi-screen, actually. I didn't show that last time. Uh, here we've got Ruben and Maze Runner. I'll show you Maze Runner. As you can see, we are in a cinema, um, but a slightly different one to the one we showed before. As you can see, it's much darker on the sides. Why? Because they're actually screens. So here you've got augmented uh, material coming off, uh, to, I guess, to enhance the main screen here. Now, when I looked at this particular content, this video through a normal player, it comes up, comes up mega wide. So it's like 48 by 9 as opposed to 16 by 9 because you do need to have these two areas actually um, stitched into uh, the main video. So that's what it looks like when you're watching a multi-screen. It will be interesting to see what movies come out with multi-screen, what comes out in 3D um, over time. And obviously that's going to be a big revenue generator and um, possibly a big reason, as I said, for people to come across uh, to virtual reality because of entertainment, not just gaming. But uh, if we go into trailers, and we get the Exodus trailer here. So if I just move across, so that's the moon, and there's, oh, that's cool. If I move across to Void, and we watch this trailer, so then if I move my head up, the same thing happens, touch the touchpad, to rewrite the screen. So there you are, with the Oculus Cinema and the uh, VR Gallery from Samsung, you're able to change your vertical uh, position as well as your horizontal. So that is very cool. And uh, puts to rest some of those questions about, I want to watch you know, my VR movie in bed on the pillow. So there we have it. So let's move back out. Now, the last thing I want to show you is really, let's get out of there, yes. Is, uh, yeah, so there's some updates as well. So if we go to library, you can see that there are some apps already with updates. If we just go to those, you can tell it to update uh, from this area as well. So we don't have to update it purely from the Note 4 area. And so really, that's it. That's pretty simple. I mean, that is really just the interface for you to be, to be able to access the content that you've got and to be able to enable you within a VR environment to uh, get more content too. You can do that obviously within the Note 4 app itself as well. So hit me up with any questions you've got. Uh, what do you want to see? I've got a lot of apps here. Which ones are you most interested in seeing? Uh, let me know in the comments area below. I'll see you there. Um, I've been replying to everything that I possibly can. It's been a great journey with you guys. I've done a bunch of videos and it's a lot of fun to speak to you all. So let me know what else uh, you'd like me to test for you. Until next time.